Welcome, FNUSA57 here. Once again, I'm on my Xbox Series X. We're playing some Remnant 2 today, and I want to show you the location for the Tomb Dweller's Ring. It's an interesting ring, and it's kind of in a little bit of a hidden secret event that you'll find in three potential locations. The Lament Dungeon, the Chimney Dungeon, or the Twisted Chantry Dungeon. This is all three locations in the biome Yashir. And usually it's pretty early in the map, um, but sometimes it's in different spots. It's random. And you'll find this little tiny room, like this little rectangle room on the map, where if you look... There's a chest, sarcophagus, and then this very oddly, conveniently uh, small square spot on the wall. And you'll probably open the chest and run right past it, but this is actually a illusionary wall that takes you into yet another section of the game. Uh, do be careful. Sometimes this ladder I've actually died falling off of. Uh, I don't know if that was just a glitch or what it was. But then we'll have the ability to go through this little uh, puzzle and then open that door and come back. And we'll actually be getting a fairly cool ring. Uh, so there are some traps in here. And it's made worse by the fact that there's water. So most of these traps we actually can't duck under, which is kind of annoying. Uh, there is a chest over here that you can grab with some basic items. And then you'll want to trigger that trap and back off it. And then uh, sometimes that trap wants to fire again. So ideally try to roll or slide past it. Make your way up. Notice that we have a hole in the ceiling, which is pretty much above the area that uh, we were just at. This way you can go back in the circle. And then there's a chest to the left if you want it. You just have to make that jump, which is a little bit, like, it's a bit of a puzzle. And up here, you will find the Tomb Dweller's Ring. So, congrats on your new ring. You can go back and complete the rest of the loop if you would like. There's a little bit more loot, but this was the main thing. And if we inspect it, it's actually a fairly cool attribute in the fact that it increases movement speed by 10%. For seven seconds after vaulting, climbing, leaping, and or entering the water. It only stacks one time though, but it also reduces fall damage by 25%. And it's kind of a cool looking, uh, cool looking ring. Not for everybody. Uh, definitely not the best ring in the game. But it is an interesting ring if you are prone to uh, taking lots of fall damage. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, feel free to ask, and I will do my absolute best to help you out. So, do me a favor, smash those like and subscribe buttons so you don't miss out on any more content, and until next time, stay frosty.